In this video, we're gonna put this saw to the test and we're gonna do it right now. So here we have an Evolution Power Tools R355 CPS 14 inch chop saw. And the thing looks pretty awesome. So this company reached out to me, Evolution Power Tools, and they offered to send me a saw to test out. And I said, yeah, because the thing looks awesome. Um, and they sent me this box. And what I like about it, I know it's kind of silly, but right off the bat, all I had to do was take it out of the box and open it up like this. I didn't have to put any pieces together. It's all ready to go, has the blade on it. Uh, all the stuff is here, the clamp, everything just right out of the box, ready to go. I think the real beauty of this saw is the blade. It's a huge blade, 14 inch. Uh, it says right here, R355 TCT, Evolution Power Tools blade. Um, and the thing about the blade is it cuts wood, it cuts steel, aluminum, wood with embedded nails, and you can see the teeth, they're not quite like other saws, they're, they're kind of different, and I guess that's where the magic comes from. Also, right off the bat, this clamp gives you a nice big clamp. Uh, this thing is heavy, it's solid, I can feel just, I can feel that it's just a good product. Um, I haven't even cut anything with it yet, and I'm excited about it. Uh, I also noticed when you, as soon as you push this down, this guard opens right up. So that allows you to cut thicker objects. It has a fence here. You have your little Allen key. You loosen up these, these bolts. And then you can cut 45 degree angles, and this clamp actually turns. And then it has this piece, if you have some awkward kind of metal pieces or you just need to cut something that has a weird profile, you can put that on there. It has a stop so you can cut a certain distance into something that'll stop the saw from going down. So you can loosen that, raise it up here so you don't cut all the way through something the lock for putting the saw down, lock it, store it, has a safety right here and the handle, real easy. Yeah, thing looks super cool and I can't wait to test it out. And that's what we're gonna do right now because not only did they send me the saw, but they sent me a whole box of material to cut, all kinds of stuff. So, let's see what this thing can do.
Well, I'm not going to lie. That was fun. I think I have fallen in love with this Evolution Power Tools 14-inch chop saw. So I went through and cut every one of these things twice. And each time we had just a perfect cut. Now, I do have to warn you, uh, I made a mistake where I put this thing at a 45, but the way I did it was wrong because what you have to do to maximize the length of your straight cuts, this is set back this way. But when you do a 45, you need to move this fence up to these holes here, or there's another set of holes back here, and then you angle this, and then you can cut straight through. This was a piece that I tried to cut through, and then I realized I didn't read the instructions. So that was my fault. Um, but it cuts 45s, incredible. All the straight cuts were just, like I said, perfect cuts every single time. I also didn't have anything this wide, but I'm estimating that this can cut about eight inches wide. Any kind of stock that's eight inches wide. But like I said, every cut I made was perfect, nice and square. This fence and the, the table itself are nice and square. And this thing is 110 volts. So you don't even have to install a, a, a 240 volt extra circuit or anything like that. Just plugs right in your wall. I didn't have any issues with even the lights dimming, you know, uh, it, so it didn't draw a ton of power, but the blade spins super fast. And here it says 1600 RPM. I'm not sure if that's actually how fast the saw goes, um, but I felt very safe using it. You know, sometimes when you get a saw like this, it's a little intimidating, but this thing seems very safe, especially with this clamp, which helped out a lot, especially with the, the bigger stuff, the thicker stuff. Um, you know, you go nice and slow through it. I probably could have gone through some of the stuff faster. You saw that I put a timer on there to show you, you know, real time how long it took to get through that big piece of tubing. Uh, but that was the safe way, the, the speed that I felt comfortable cutting it at. So, um, yeah, it just felt very safe, very comfortable to use. Definitely wear the proper equipment, safety glasses and gloves because the metal shards can be dangerous, but yeah, highly recommend this. So Evolution Power Tools, my hat's off to you. You did it right with this thing. It is fantastic. And if any of you out there are interested in purchasing this saw, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go over to Amazon and buy it. And that will be an affiliate link, which means I will, at no extra cost to you, get a small commission and it helps support this channel. And I really appreciate it. But the best thing you can do is give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out so much. Also check out my other links to my Patreon page, my Instagram and Facebook. And if you want to see other videos, click here and here-ish and you can check those out. And I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.